Excellencies, heads of state and government, and first ladies, heads of delegation, and senior representatives of their governments, leaders of Rwanda's highest institutions, Secretary General of the Francophonie, Chiefs of Defense Staff, members of the Diplomatic Corps, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Banyarwanda, Banyarwanda Kazi, Murao Maram Seneza. Nari ku vanza ku vamunichira abashitsi bimen abari hano abakuru bibihugu nabakuru babashitse abandi baje kudusura ariko ibyo ndashimira minister sezibera ko yabikoze ndaza kubisubiramo mu rusange ntigize ntagombye kongera gusubira mu mazi muraza kunyanganira rero na baramukije na bashimiye kandi ndifuza ko tugira umunsi mwiza utwibutsa kwibohora icyo bivuze kwibohora tumaze iminsi tubiganira kwibohora nuburenganzira nubumwe na majambere no mutekano abantu bakagira gutera imbere mu byo bifuza ibyo ari byo byose munyangane rero mvuge ijambo ryanje mururi mi rwa mahanga kugira ngo nabashitsi batugendere bashobore kumva neza batagombye gusemorerwa ariko ni jambo muri rusange mu kinyarwanda rirabageraho cyangwa se rizabageraho bidatinze We are here to observe the 25th anniversary of Rwanda's liberation. It is a privilege to mark this occasion in the company of so many friends of Rwanda from around the world. I thank you all on behalf of our country for your solidarity and friendship over many years. It means a great deal to us. I most especially thank our brothers and sisters the heads of state and first ladies who have made the journey to be with us here today. For three long months in 1994, our country's survival 
was in doubt. One of the worst tragedies unfolded. A segment of the population was being hunted and killed. More than a million people were murdered. By July 4th, the forces of RPA had brought the killings to an end. <laughs> 25 seasons of mourning have passed since then. And with time, it is important to recall that the campaign against genocide became more than a military operation in the conventional sense. It became a rescue mission. For example, there was a battalion of our soldiers stationed at the parliament, the parliament building, which is not so far away from this stadium. They came under very heavy attack and completely cut off from the rest of our forces. Yet, those troops managed to secure this very stadium where we are and the thousands of people sheltering here while they were under very heavy attack. This was just one site among many. Around us today are some of the men and women who protected survivors and led them to safety. Our army and those others who supported it lived and others died for our country, those still alive continue to serve it with steadfast devotion. We thank you. Many other liberation fighters are here with us only in memory because they made the ultimate sacrifice. Where did humanity, the humanity and heroism come from? The answer is simple. We believed in our right to dignity as Rwandans. This conviction was the starting point of the liberation struggle. The aim was to build a Rwanda with equal rights for all. 
In other words, a republic in the real sense. For decades and decades, Rwandans were treated as objects to be used and discarded by anyone, especially the powerful. It won't be anymore. <laughs> Both the suffering of the refugees as well as the oppression and the poverty of those who remained here had a similar origin. Had we ever truly been united at any point in our history? And yet, our culture provides us with the tools for a successful society. Liberation was not about restoring the past, but creating something fundamentally new and better for all Rwandans. <laughs> this fight was necessary and indeed unavoidable. If there will ever be necessity for more fights, we will be there. <laughs> the vision of unity and justice attracted broad support because it resonates so stro strongly with the human spirit. But the proof was in actions, not words. For the last 25 years, we have done our best to govern according to the liberation ideals that we fought for. The conduct of our forces is one example. Another is the bravery of those within Rwanda who opposed divisive politics. All the energy that our people give every day to transforming the nation as we have seen in the past 25 years. As a result, the seemingly impossible has become manageable and even natural. <laughs> Achievements like restoring trust and peace or working together, for example. But we cannot take anything for granted. The force that stands before us together with other actors in the struggle have remained true to their cause. <laughs> they are a representation of the spirit of this country. It is the responsibility of every Rwandan to extend the gains we have made. Rwanda appreciates the profound link between our liberation journey and the wider African quest for self-determination. <laughs> we all share the same aspirations to be free and to improve ourselves to the fullest extent. Our continent cannot remain dependent on 
what happens elsewhere. Our mindset should be to rely, first of all, on ourselves and on each other. It is worth repeating, being Rwandan simply means being an African from a particular place. In that spirit, I salute the forces from the East African Community Partners here with us today who have been conducting medical outreach exercises. Thank you. I hear the representatives from African political parties who are attending this ceremony. And I thank the military service chiefs who have come from both our region and beyond. The logic of liberation is to turn bad things into good things. What Rwandans have achieved is undeniably real. But we must stay humble enough to know that our main challenge is sustainability. Banyarwanda Banyarwanda kazi mwagoze kunyihanganira kubabwira mu rurimi bamwe mutamenyereye ariko amateka twayasize inyuma yacu tureba ahazaza twese hamwe nk'umuryango dukomeze rero dushyigikire izinda ngagaciro Buri wese agire uruhare kuyitike ndetse tubitoze nabadukomokaho Ni tuzongere kuyoba haba narimu We left the past behind us and embraced the future by coming together as a family. We must remain solid in the defense of these values through each and every generation. We will not lose our way again. I wish you let me wish you all a very happy liberation day. Morakoze Chane, I thank you.